Why are you acting like this? I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous because I don't like cops. Why? I have, a, I have a anxiety. They've, they've done things to me. What? What'd you just stick in your mouth? What's up, guys? Welcome back. I am Van, and now we are all the LFI family. Thank you so much for clicking play. Hopefully, you click that like button, too. That will help the channel out tremendously. Thank you so much. And later on, when you get a moment, go to LFIfamily.com. Ask me about the Bang Bang Tea and other services and products we may have. Okay, we just now checked out a video by the uh, liberal, liberal Hive Mind is what we checked out. And um, he was talking about when narratives are not what these politicians or these race these people who profit off of race racial incidents around the around the country um are not what they wanted to be and it's not a black guy being victimized by the police um they don't share it a lot or as, as if it's a white dude being victimized or being killed or being hurt by the police it's not out there you you would never hear the story because it would die right after they put the information out there or if it's a mass shooting and the shooter is not a white man like it's supposed to be because everybody knows it's supposed to be a white man that does the shootings um, and it's a black dude, that story dies too. Well, this other story just now came, um, came out and this is actually something a little older, but the family of this is is suing. They're suing the the, the police officers for this. And it just so happens to be a white man who was killed by the police now look right here it says pueblo west colorado on this um on the day um richard ward 32 years old was executed in cold blood in front of countless school children he had harmed no one all right he had committed no crime and the only thing he did was confuse a different car for his mother's car and try to get in this mistake we have all likely made led to war's execution at the hands of Pueblo West finest, the police. Now, as you can see, a man was waiting for his little brother in the car outside of his middle school, and they pulled him out and they shot him. What's going on? Wow, well, calling the cops for me just looking for my little brother, huh? Absolutely. Cool, so, yeah, so just looking for my little brother. Okay, who's the little brother? Eddie, uh, no, Chase Ward. Okay. Forgot who the little brother was? No. All right. No, no, I'm just messing with you. I don't, I'm just messing with you, man. Okay. Why are you touching my arm, bro? Let go. Why are you acting like this? I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous because I don't like cops. Why? I have, a, I have a anxiety. They've, they've done things to me. What have they done to you? Uh, wait, I mean, stop resisting when you're not resisting. Well, is that PD or us? Who knows? Because we're different, right? We're the SO. I don't know. You treat us all. I mean, I'm not just trying to respect you, nothing, but it's just okay. like I'm just and a normal guy just trying to get my brother, you know? You said we treat you? What? I, just, I, I don't know. know. I don't even know who you are. Okay. Okay? Cool. Right? I'm just here to pick up my little brother, man. I'd like to just. So. Oh, who cool did I just. I mean, who did I just disrupt by trying to get my brother? Now. The gentleman told them that, and I'm about to play the next one too, because there's another video that's that's going to show exactly what happened to this gentleman. It, clearly, you can see that he's a white dude. Clearly, you can see that his mom, who is in the front, his mom is in the front of the car. She's also white, and they're waiting for his brother. Apparently, he was going around. He he walked to go get in somebody's car, and it was the wrong car. And he went to go get in the right car, and ended up being in the correct car. But the police was already called by the principal who was reported to some someone else reported him to the principal. The principal came out there and approached the gentleman and told him, just stay right there. You know, your your son, I mean your your brother will be out, whatever. And I think they intentionally held his brother inside of the school and would not put him out there so that um so that the police can come address him first, as you can clearly see. But I want y'all to see this next part right here. Well, they said that you were going around trying to uh, mess with doors and open up mess cars. With, no, dude, the f car looked, I thought, oh my so God. So what'd you do? I, I just want to hear your side of the story, man. Oh, so you're talking, dude, I straight up thought that that was my freaking, my car. That's all it was. You thought it was your car yeah. over here and you were looking for your brother, but not well, quite I mean, sure I, was, that I straight up thought that was my car. Okay. I see and, the people and what car I was it? That, I thought it was my mom. I was, I was yelling at her. I was yelling at her. I thought, because I, I knew she was in there. I don't even know that lady. Yeah, I know. That's what she was freaking out about, right? Hey, but she was like, oh, but when she started driving, I was like, oh, I was like, oh man, and I was, just, and I was like, lady, I'm sorry. I was like, I did not, mean, you know, yeah. and uh, yeah, that was that's that, that's what happened. So. Okay. Now I do want to point out too, what y'all are noticing right now is um, y'all are noticing that blurry 
parts are walking past the I mean like they're showing people walk past the car those are actual kids <laughs> they're showing kids walking by the car and they're blurring them out because they they can't show kids on on videotape that's that's just not something they can do especially not on something where somebody is about to be shot I want y'all to just let me know be honest with me be honest with me because I'm not I'm not here trying to be on the side of the criminal or on the side of the police I want to understand not only why did this gentleman get shot? Did he was it for a real purpose? Like, did he do something potentially that should have gotten him shot? Or was this just complete bad police work? And these gentlemen was just wrong as hell. And we should have heard about this over the news because I know I heard absolutely nothing about it. Are you under the influence of anything? No. Okay. You have an ID with you? And my, I don't know. Do you have any weapons? Uh do you have any weapons? I don't think so. I had a pocket. You don't think so? Don't go now. now. And also, one other thing. Um, it was pointed out to me that he ended up putting an anxiety. Um, he, he was taking an, um, a pill. He put a pill in his mouth, like an anxiety uh, medication pill, which was later found out to be that. And that's what caused them to, I guess, jump on him and pull him out the car. What would you just stick in your mouth? Well, they said that you were going around trying to... Uh... Did you see that? At the end of that video, they said, what did you just stick in your mouth? So, he stuck a pill in his mouth, and now we have this. What, what did you stick in your mouth? Read a pill. There's a pill. Let me go. Get out. Get out. He said it was a pill. Let me go. Now, the gentleman beside the car, that was the first police officer that came up to him and put his hands on him, grabbed him. Um, and he was like, whoa, why you, why you, you know, touch me? Like relax chill and you know he put the pill in his mouth like okay all right get up yeah put your hands behind your back put your hands behind your back put your hands behind your back bro stop stop get up get up stop 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 resisting bro stop 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 fire stop fire so the police officer that was wrestling with them on the ground started shooting them. Go! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get and when they first came over there, he said he don't trust police because he's been in incidents before where they put hands on him, roughed them up, and he he said it. He said they will say stop resisting and start beating them up or something like that. And he didn't trust police too much. He, he really didn't. He's just riding with his mom. He might not have his life together. He might not be where he might not be the type of communicator that they wanted him to be. But they just didn't trust him at that point. Like they asking him, do you have anything in your do you have any weapons? Do you have anything on you? And he's pulling stuff out by himself. And he decided to put a pill in his mouth and get dragged out of the car. That was not on the news. Maybe it was on Colorado's news, local news and never and never hit national news. But there are a great deal of people out there who believe that these type of things do not happen to white people. That only people that this happened to are black people and it happens by white cops. In the Tyree Nichols incident, when it happened from four, five black police officers, people are saying, oh, how come those guys was arrested right away? How come those guys was arrested right away? They was fired from their jobs and, and things like there was justice immediately. It, it, it was justice immediately for them because they was black. It's always going to be an issue. Always going to be an issue. Always going to be a problem. And then they only did it because they was with, they worked within the racial, the racist white supremacist system they was taught to do this to their own people and when they did it you know they had to they couldn't the, the 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 police department couldn't look bad so they had to do something i mean we got video camera of you guys bragging about beating them up we got to do something we gotta we gotta arrest you guys sorry even that didn't get the coverage that it would have if those police officers were white just saying. So this happens all the time. It's unfortunate that this happened, man, but, oh, Lord. I don't know. Certain things like this, it's just, I don't know. If, if, if this don't touch your heart, I don't know what will. Because we see this so much now. We play our video games. We watch movies, TV shows. We see it all over the internet. 
so much crime, so much violence. We see it so much that we're not even bothered by it anymore. People are becoming godless. The dude saw the police. It was like two or three police out there waiting for him. And he still decided to resist. He was like, he was not mentally there. Clearly. I don't know. I just don't trust police. I just, I don't know. I had some incidents and I just don't, I don't want to have anything to do with police at all. You know, thank you though. He probably was arrested before and some things happened while he was inside. We don't know. We don't know if the police officers felt threatened and they felt like they need to rough them up a little bit. You know what? If you're resisting, oh man, I got to get you now. I got to get you to stop. I did hear that someone said that maybe he was going after the police's gun. At least that was the word on the street. That was the story that the, um, that the deputy told. Dave Lucero was a chief deputy. He was the one that shot him three to four times. He actually claimed in, a, in an actual report that the gentleman jumped out the car and started attacking him. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know about this one in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I am Van. Now we are all the LFR family, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video, hopefully inside of the Patreon.